All right, in the third technique of the uh, sword defense techniques in Sankata, we're working with a thrust. And so as we get to our basic range, our basic condition of distance, the man takes from Hasso, he draws down and prepares to load the thrust, and then he's thrusting straight into our solar plexus here. And we're again, we're making evasion forward and to the side to get perpendicular and roughly in the depth of his forearms here into forearm control. Now, as we do this, we're going to be entering with our backhand to, uh, to make a, uh, a riminagi. And it's important that we don't leave it coming down from underneath because if you step out to the outside and he thrusts in, this hand rising could make contact with the weapon. And so it's important that as we do so, this hand rises up and comes in here. Maybe one from this angle. Half turn in and dropping in. It's less of a striking form and more of an entry form to Ariminagi, but coming in from above to make sure that we don't have any uh, contact with the blade. Maybe, yeah, this is a good line. We're making a light touch here. The second hand rising in with the hip and coming right across the shoulder line. Then we walk through and continue forward because we haven't disarmed the man and we don't want to be in range of the weapon at the end. So maybe uh, this line here, good. Good. And that's a Riminagi, very nice.